Hello students, now we are going to discuss about the preclinical studies, right? So when we talk about the preclinical, as the name indicate before clinical studies or before clinical trial, whatever we do in the preclinical trials that we are doing into the animal or in the laboratory, we, we are not using the human volunteers. We are using either the cell lines or the living cells or any animal models, rat, mice, uh, guinea pig or rabbit right so there we are testing the drug molecule which has been developed uh, which has been discovered uh, for its therapeutic activity whether it is giving the therapeutic activity or not or it is showing any kinds of any uh, side effect or adverse drug uh, events that we are going to observing in this stage right so preclinical studies basically uh, lab and animal testing right lab and animal testing to determine if the drug is safe enough for human testing because after that there will be the clinical trials phase one phase two phase three and phase four study right so there before that it has to be ensured that it is safe enough why, the, why forget about the activity first of all it should be safe it should have some kinds of activity then only we can proceed further otherwise we need to stop in the preclinical itself right so there will be the in vitro and in vivo right so in vitro means the conducted in lab like it may be in the test tubes, uh, beakers, any glasswares in different cells or in the cell line site. Uh, if it is for diabetes, we need to have the uh, beta cell lines and the pancreatic cells. Or if it is uh, for hepatoprotective, we need to have the uh, liver cells, hepatocytes supposed to be there into the, these particular glasswares. And there we are going to testing whether it is uh, uh, giving any effect or not. Once it is uh, passing the in vitro, we can go for the in vivo. Here, uh, the living cells uh, culture we are going to have like uh, animal models are there different models like rat valbino rats wister rats mice rabbits uh, guinea pigs so all those models we are using and there we are testing the drug for its activity or anti-diabetic anti-inflammatory hepatoprotective whatever it may be right so that we are doing and we are generating the data right that data that's what you can see into the uh, different uh, research articles that they are publishing that uh, the anti-diabetic activity of the uh, azadiracta indica or neem or anti-diabetic activity of momordica charantia so uh, so many medicinal plants or animal uh, natural products uh, extract they it might be having synthetic drug also so many papers will be available so that will be done in the preclinical studies right so basically what are the things we are going to expecting in this particular part how long drug works right that's what uh, the what is the the t half and uh, how it is excreting how long it is working uh, whether it is giving any therapeutic activity up or not if it is giving what is the level of significance how far it can be con uh, considered that it is having anti-diabetic activity or uh, uh, the in activity onto the hepatoprotective or so and so safety profile very very important uh, it is giving any adverse effect or not any side effect or not forget about the activity so that also we are uh, expecting here into the different animal model non-human volunteers right us fda requires like whenever it will be applied for in the last class we have discussed about the nda new drug application or uh, sorry inda investigational new drug application so there uh, they are asking all this uh, evidence before testing into the human volunteer then only uh, once the fda will approve the i INDA, INDA, then only you can go for the clinical trial phase 4 studies, right? Then coming to the how to make the large enough quantity of the drug for clinical trial because in clinical trials we are uh, having the human volunteers maybe in phase 1 2200, then 100 to 500, then 1000 to 5000, then in the large group. So there we need to have the particular uh, large quantity of the particular drug in the suitable doses form, either it is tablet, capsule parenteral injects uh, right whatever it may be then after starting with the 5000 to 1000 compounds it's not that uh, we will get the simply in with the plant extract whatever we are testing into the rat or mice and whatever the result data is generating with that only we can conclude no it's the very 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 preliminary uh, what you call uh, activity that's we cannot that's what uh, one who do the serious research into the different research companies there 5000 to 1000 to 5000 compounds they have to take uh, and uh, ultimately they will come with the concluded with the one to five molecules that is called a candidate drug the name itself uh, candidate drug that drug which is the responsible actual responsible for to give the particular activity that we have to conclude and uh, with those we can further go for the manufacturing and then 
clinical trial it is not that they uh, the human volunteer we cannot uh, by feeding needle we cannot feed them the extract or something like that uh, right it has to be uh, there in the suitable doses form then only we can go for clinical trial with the human volunteers so those things we are studying in the preclinical stage that's very very important to uh, look after so whenever preclinical studies question comes you can write these data thank you